everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave and today I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Star Wars Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Now this ship first featured in Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens and I must say any ship that has winds that fold up and down like the Lambda Class Shuttle or similar to it, I love it. Now if anybody's interested and you've been collecting these, it's number 7 in the Last Jedi line of die cast ships. The original Hot Wheels Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle looked just like this. However, the Last Jedi version, the winds open, and that was a huge selling point for me. So for length, it's about one inch long and over two and a half inches tall. So this is a great vehicle. So we do have a lot to cover. Let's look at the mold, the paint, put on a stand, compare it, and we'll be done. So let's get moving. So let's start this review off looking at the mold. And I must say, at first glance, you may not think there's a lot to this ship. But there are tons of little tiny modules and lines and panels. Just awesome. Just look at the wind here. Amazing stuff right here, especially on the tip. All those little lines there. Sick. Now for the interior of the ship, we have eight rivets holding the winds together. And just look at all that detail. Copyright crap there. Love this stuff. Nicely done on these winds. Pretty sick. So let me zoom in for the command section. So here on the command section, we could see a lot of little details in here. Very awesome. I like this a lot. And also, I forgot to mention the uh, twin heavy laser cannons on the left and right hand sides of the ship. You can see there's definitely two there, so nice touch there. Pretty sick. I like the detail on the command section a lot. I think they did an amazing job. Now, coming to the back of the ship... We have our engines, which are nicely done. Very cool. And now on the bottom of the vessel, we have our two rivets, stand port, and just amounts of detail. They're just astronomical, the amount of stuff they pumped into this ship. And one neat aspect, which I forgot to bring up, is see how there's detail on the sides of the winds? That actually goes around the whole entire ship. Talk about getting your money's worth here fantastic now before we get to the paint i just want to take a look at how the winds open and i just want to say i'll apologize for the sound you hear in the background it is raining so hard here today and i shut my window and everything but you could still hear it it's really pouring so anywho back to the ship the winds right here we could see these tiny little sections they're in shadows maybe it's seen better in the back here we go two little uh, metal rods there and the winds just fold out like so there's like a little stopper here. Now this side falls a little farther down. And I don't really know why. I think it has something to do with this because there's a gap here. And I tried to fix it, but I don't want to break it. So I just tilt that up a little bit. And it looks pretty good. It's not too bad. So the wind's open like that and just shut. And they stay where you leave them. So I like that it's tight and snug. And you can pose this however you want, and it will hold its shape. So, well done. So, that's everything I have to say about the mold. So, now let's take a look at the paint. Holy moly, guys. You know, every time I film a dark ship or black ship, I can never get the light in right. And the same goes for white vessels. But one day, I'll figure it out. So, anywho, the main color in this beautiful ship is obviously black. There's black everywhere. And it is actually pretty damn cool. I really like what they did here. Nice and clean awesome now the second color is red for the command section and that's nicely done as well you may be wondering what is that line going through that is just the seam line of the plastic model they put together so nice clean paint apps there now in the back we have our engines which are painted dark metallic gray and that came out nice and neat as well and then for the interiors we have a nice sky blue and that basically does it for the paint so now that we looked at that in the mold, let's put this bad boy on a stand, compare it, and then we'll be done for today. Now just like most Hot Wheels ships, comes with a cool stand, peg it in port, hear that click, and you're good to go. For a size comparison with the Hot Wheels Color Ren's Command Shuttle, we have the Black Series Titanium Command Shuttle, and I like this ship a lot. I wish the winds opened on this, but it is what it is. Right here we have the Hasbro Micro Machines Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Very nice. Again, they never made a version with the winds. And these two lines apparently are discontinued, which kind of sucks, but whatever. At least we have Hot Wheels making them now. 
And finally over here we have the brand new Darth Vader from the Black Series 6 inch line. Very good figure I must say. I love the helmet on here. As much as I'm a fanboy for the one that the helmet comes off, the uh, Return of the Jedi version, this one I think is more accurate in my own opinion. But regardless, cool figure, great ships. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. Now again, for the length, it's about an inch long and over two and a half inches tall. It's a beautifully sized ship. And also it made its first on-screen appearance in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. So what are the pros and cons of this ship? For the pros, the mold is magnificent. I love all the detail they pumped in here. And the moving winds, awesome. Now for the paint, I almost gave it a con. Now hear me out. I love the paint on here, especially in the command section, the engines. Very crisp and clean and nice. Now where we run into the problem is the winds. The command section and the winds are this nice glossy black. You can see light bounce off of it. Now for the tips and the sides of the wind, it is a matte black. Now there might be some of us out there that think that's a half butt job and don't want to buy it. But trust me, it's not that bad. Especially when you think about how this ship folds up anyway. These like go this way and down. You could play it off. So that's why I gave it a pass. It's not as bad as it may look on camera. It's pretty cool in person. Now also you get that cool first order stand that unifies it with the rest of the collection. Nice touch. And finally price. When these finally hit retail, they will be $4.99 each. And that's an awesome price, so if you can find one, pick it up. So if you're looking to find one of these ships, sooner or later they will pop up in retail, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Barnes & Noble, Toys R Us, you name it, they'll be popping up soon. Now listen, I'm going to take a moment and just be very honest with you. When I spent $13 on Amazon.com to get this ship, it was mostly for you guys. Like, before you call Ball Poop Dave, yeah, I get another video at it and whatnot, but let's face it, I'm no PewDiePie or Shardimus Prime. I don't get millions of views and make bank. You know, this is a labor of love. So I get these ships because you guys are into it. You want to know what's out there. I cannot recommend you buy this ship for $13. I'm sorry, I can't. The, the ship is beautiful. The paint is nice and all that. The winds open up. But it's not worth that type of money. I would suggest that you guys be patient. You wait for it to drop in price. Or just wait for it to come into stores. And that's all I have to say about that. So I recommend this ship for anybody who's a fan of Kylo Ren, the First Order, or the new Star Wars trilogy. So that's everything I have to say about this ship today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. So again, thanks for watching everybody. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye everybody.